with me, your host, David Samoji. So today, I'm going to be making a simple t-shirt design, inspirational t-shirt design for you. So if this is something you're interested, please make sure you stick around. Don't click off of this video. I will advise you to watch this video from start to the end. It's free content, so you're not paying me for anything. It's free content. I'm giving you out free content. All I ask is that you watch it to the very end. Don't skip off of this video. Watch it to the very end. It's going to be super quick and super fast. So without wasting much of your time, I'm going to go straight right to it. If you know you've not subscribed, please subscribe, like, and share. So let's go straight right. I'm going to open Photoshop for this. I'm going to open Photoshop for this. It's going to be a super, super easy t-shirt design. Super easy t-shirt design. It's not going to take you so much time. So we'll go to File, New. This is the standard. If you're using it for print on demand, T-Spring Redbubble match by Amazon. You want to make money from red print on demand. This is the standard dimension. So I'm going to click on OK. So for this one, it's going to be a simple, a simple text design, which is going to say, Add work page. This is a simple t shirt design, not complicated. I never make a complicated t shirt design. Just always make sure your designs are super easy. Just always make sure they are super easy to work with and they are not complicated. For this one, I'm going to highlight it, so I'm going to do Control A. And I'll use what they call Bibas New. That's the font I want to use. As you can see, this is the font I want to use here. So this is the font I want to make use of. So for this last exclamation you see at the end, I'm gonna change that. I won't put that right in the mix. So I'll just make this bigger first. So I'll make this bigger. So control T. So I light this text, then I'll over my mouse to this very edge. Then I'll press down three button my altar key button, shift key button, my left mouse key button, and drag outwards. As you can see, sorry about that. If you leave it too soon, it's going to distort your design, so you have to do it again. So I'll do my three button, my altar key button, shift key button, my left mouse key button. And once you're done, you move your hand from your left mouse key button and your other two button, you press enter. So now you have it like that. So now I'm going to bring back my exclamation. I'm going to bring back my exclamation mark. As you can see. So now I'm going to make that bigger. So to do that, I'll do Ctrl T and just make that bigger. So I'll do my Alt key button, Shift key button, my left mouse key button again. So you see, I've made that bigger, and now I'm going to just make it. A little bit slanted, so as you can see, you see there's a curved arrow. You can just move that curved arrow around, moving, pressing your left mouse click button, and moving your mouse, you can move that around. So for this, I'm just gonna make it a little bit like that. And I'll press on this move button again, move to apply. So now I just add have this as add work page. It's not super complicated. It's not super complicated, easy to do. Then I'll just match these two layers together. So to do that, I'm going to press my control key button on my keyboard and click on this add work page. And I'm going to do control G to match that together. So if you see, if I close this now, I have that out of there. So now I have that. I'll just move this exclamation up a bit like so. So now we have that. So I'll click on this background layer because now I want to add some colors to it so i'm going to come to this color palette where i say polygon 2 i'm going to press my left mouse click button down on that click on the rectangular tool and i'm just going to draw pressing my left mouse click button and dragging my mouse i'm just going to draw just three shapes just going to draw three shapes just like that so now we have the first one we have the first one gonna create the second one so I'll move this so now I'm gonna duplicate this shape so to do that I'm gonna press on my alt key button my left mouse click button and move my mouse to duplicate that so have that I'll duplicate that again pressing down my alt key button my left mouse key button and moving my mouse 
we have that it's as simple as that now what am i going to do next i'm going to highlight these three so press down my control key button click on rectangle copy one and rectangular copy two so now i can use my left mouse click button and just move my mouse to make sure it's where i want it to be as you can see it has different colors and i don't want it i'm going to change the color so this first one is going to be um i think i'll just use use a yellow with this this one is going to be a different color different color so have okay so this third one this third one is going to be a different color too because our text is purple so definitely don't want that to be purple so yes i like these three colors these three colors work well for me so now the next step would be to cut these three colors so that the ad work pays stands out so to do that i'm gonna group them but before i group them i'm just gonna click on each of them and do something like this right click rectorize layer right click on the second one rectorize layer right, right click on the third one and rectorize layer you want to do that for the three shapes very important you want to do that for the three shapes so now what do you want to do next you want to group them to, to, to group them you click on the first colored shape press your control key button click on the second one and click on the third one and do control g to group them now that you group them you can bring in your cut tool and just make sure you take it from this edge just just about where you want it to be cut out from just like that then you see you see there's an extra step one you got into the other edge where you started your cut from it's going to form a circle so you just click on that and now you have that and you just click on delete okay so you can't do that so you have to go in and do it for each shape so you delete come to the next shape delete you come to the last shape and you delete so now that you've done that you can just click on this free space and you have that so you see it's that easy it's not complicated super easy to work on so now that we have our design it says add work pays you will not group you can decide to group them together or just leave them just the way they are so super cool now you have to turn off this background layer you turn that off because we don't want it we just want our design so we just turn that off and we are good to go so now we'll go to file and save it go to save as make sure you are saving it as png so this one is going to be add work pays so now you just want to save it save it as photoshop PSG so that just in case you want to come back and change your colors then you also save it as PNG always want to save your design as PNG because you want to be able to transfer it on different colors of shirts so always save it as PNG then click on OK press OK so you see it's saving as you can see it's saving so once it's done saving we just to promote it on site like um, Instagram sending to instagram influencers those inspirational instagram pages you can promote your designs there promote it on facebook promote it on pinterest but you won't get a lot of sale if you just give them this design just the way it is so to get a lot of sale you're going to do one more step which i'm going to show you now you go to file picture this mock up you can get this mock up from freepick freepick.com so there's one mock up i usually use this is my personalized mock up which you see in my youtube video but if you just want something quick and easy where you can just see the t-shirt design on on a mock-up so you just select this anger mock-up which i also use i also use so you go to where it says your design goes here go to freepick.com and slide for t and search for t-shirt mock-up you get all these t-shirt mock-up you can just download but note you have to have photoshop to use them so you just click on this then delete delete these two you see here you delete the first one and you delete the second one so now you go back and bring in your artwork page design 
your ad work page design this is it so now you bring it into this space so you just drag it click on it and drag it into this space everyone should know how to drag so now we're going to reduce it a bit so to do that remember you i told you in our previous design process you just over your mouse to this edge where it gives you the double pointed arrow then click on three buttons your alter key button shift key button and your left mouse click button and just drag inwards drag your mouse inwards to to reduce drag your mouse outwards to increase so you want to drag it inwards and when you're okay with it just press enter on your keyboard and now you go to file and press save so now when you press save and you go back it should be on your shirt as you can see it should be on your shirt so now i can just control t because i don't want it slanty i can just move you know just move it a bit and now reduce this a bit so you do alter key button shift key button and left mouse click button pressing them down together and you reduce it a bit so it says add work page but definitely i don't want it on a dark blue shirt so i'm going to go to where it shows me this color and just make it white you can make it white or black but i prefer for this to be white add work page it's as simple as that and we'll just go over and save this go to um save as add work pay full full version so have add work pays so now you save it as p as jpeg now you can just you know once it's done saving press ok and once that is done saving you can just go back and check and this is it so you have this full now you can promote it find influencers find inspirational motivational instagram pages with good engagement rate very important and negotiate pricing with them and just show them your design they will promote it on their um story and their feed depending on people's agreements then you can also post it straight to redbubble and um, t public it's going to give you a full mock-up with humans wearing your shirt so if you prefer to post it to promote that that would be cool so you just get that picture and send it to your influencers or you run facebook ad for it and you are good to go you definitely make sales and once you start making sales they start promoting you organically on this print on demand site such as redbubble t public t spring and you are good to go so if you enjoyed this tutorial i'll ask that you to please subscribe make sure you check out my other videos if you've not checked it out if you are just viewing this video for the first time please please if you're just doing this video on my channel for the first time please go through my channel and check out some other videos so you can learn more and i'll definitely see you in the next video update stay blessed stay safe we'll go through this time together and i'll see you in the next one to your right there's a playlist make sure you watch that playlist and have fun doing that see you tomorrow